says it is going after the financiers of the violence in Lycapia, as well as those behind acts of arson, murder, and cattle rustling. The ISIS leaders cited the repeated cycles of violence despite security operations to bring back normalcy. Leila Mohamed has that report. As yet another armed operation seeking to flush out bandits from the expansive Laikipia Nature Conservancy starts, it brings with it little guarantee for residents who have experienced recurrent violence and numerous reactive security operations. We must mobilize the security. Boots are already on the ground, with the Interior Ministry not ready to give details of their strategy until the plans have been well executed. The approach we have taken now is very different from the approach that has been taken. In fact, never before has what we are doing ever been done, because we, are, we, we have taken time to do a lot of stuff. When you go to the ground, like from next week, we are putting things on the ground to validate all the leases, to look at all the leases and so on, look at the drivers of that conflict. Because they are actually beyond the past and the drought issues as it were. According to leaders from the county, the government project to disarm Kenya police reservists from Laikipia did not fully achieve similar results in neighboring counties. The proliferation of illegal arms has been reported as a significant contributor to the region's insecurity challenges. Rise Uhuru, take action. Your citizens are dying. Take action. And above all, give us the opportunity to defend ourselves. In the next week, CS Matiangi says he will join security teams on the ground in a bid to get the teams dispatched to move things swiftly in investigations and returning peace to the affected villages like Old Moran. With the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew in Laikipia Nature Conservancy and its environs within the Old Moran division already in force, there is fear that not much will be achieved to bring peace in the area finally. We want to resolve it completely. Because the truth of the matter is you are right. You know, around the electioneering time, this thing plays up. And then we pass fight, we don't go after elections, we go away, then it comes up again. But now we have taken a much broader uh, approach to it and we have many more government agencies involved in it. Tension has continued to build up at the restless Old Moran area for the sixth day, with villagers fleeing their homes to safer areas for fear of more attacks. Leila Mohamed, NTV.